African baobab seeds and we're going to have a go at these today. They're quite a hard little kidney shaped shell and to get these to germinate we actually need to scarify them quite a lot. So I'm going to show you how to do that today and show you some I've got at different stages. So the first thing you're going to need, trusty old nail file you don't want anymore and you're going to file on the seed until you take the top layer off. I'm just going to, I have to, unfortunately I have to do it off camera because um, I can't hold the camera and do it, but I'll show you the results in a second. Filing. When you're filing, you want to keep going for about five minutes until you've got through that dark brown layer, which is the second layer actually. Now keep going, and once you see a little bit of white like that, that's the time to stop. You've broken through, and if you go much further, you're going to damage the kernel underneath. So that's the point, they're ready for soaking. It's usually, the smaller end is the better end to do it on, which is what I've done. And I just used a heavy grit nail file, and it worked really easily for me. There we go. Once you file the top coat off, you want to put them in a bowl and pour boiling water over them. Change the water three or four times in the day. Do it a few times. If you've broken enough of the surface, what's going to happen is they're going to swell up to nearly three times this size. But I've got two to swell over the last 24 hours. So when they don't swell, I dry them off and I file a bit more off. And I'm going to show you the difference between one that's swollen and one that isn't so this is one here that i've successfully got to swell and there's the size difference between them you can see it's really sort of juicy but i have got others that i've been soaking and i filed that haven't swelled yet so i will keep going with them until we get this sudden expanse of the seed okay so file all of them put the boiling water on and change that do it three or four times in the day and if they haven't swelled up and you'll notice the size difference then take them out dry them take a little bit more of the coating off and have another go once they swell they're ready for the next stage so here are all the ones that i've treated with the nail file um, I've popped in some of the ones I did a few days ago because you can see they're slightly bigger um, but they haven't really swollen up as much as this one and he's ready for the next stage. Because he's ready I'm not popping him into the boiling water but these ones aren't so I'm giving them another treatment. I'm going to leave them for another day and see if any noticeably swell up. This one over here is ready to move on to the next stage and that is now peeling this brown coating off. It can be really difficult to get off. Um, you can do it with your nails. I did the other one that I'll show you in a minute with the nails. And once they start swelling, the seed pod does start coming off. You can leave them in the shells and some do germinate in there, but a high amount of them will rot in the seeds if they can't break that shell. So just use your fingers. You can see bits of it are pulling off. And underneath you should be left with a white seed. And that's what I've got here. Um, they soak in water and you should start seeing some signs of germination. This one's opened up a lot. It was the kidney shape, but since it's been soaking in the water, has opened up nicely. And that's what you want to get to. Um, once you get to this stage, you're almost ready for planting them. Now, it doesn't matter if a bit of the skin comes off because this is the kernel. Um, but you don't want to damage that white bit. Now... If you feel like it's going to break, it's better to leave some of the brown on rather than break that because it will still try and germinate. The more you can get off, the better. So I'm popping these back into some water and hopefully we'll have a few more ready in a day or so. So here are the seeds that we've taken the coating off. Don't worry about the skin. If you peel the brown skin there, it won't hurt them. Um, if you don't peel it, it's not going to hurt them either. Um, put them on some kitchen towel. Spray the kitchen towel so it's really wet. You want it drippy wet. Well, not drippy. It wants to be able to hold the amount of water. Fold them up in it. Then we're going to put this in a Ziploc bag in a nice warm position. And we're going to check them every day. These are going to go quite quick and they're going to be quite big. So it's important to check on them every day. Once we've got a nice root on them, then we'll put, be putting them into the soil. 
So here are our baobab seeds. Um, I've got a couple out this morning, this one and this one. The others, you can really start to see some germination. They've just been on this wet paper towel overnight and they're going to be folded up and put in a Ziploc bag until they germinate now. I've just got the last two to do and then we will have all 10 seeds out ready to germinate. It's about two days after the last video. You can see we've got little roots coming now on the end. Very cute. And they've all opened up and they all look like little maggots or caterpillars, except for this one. Now, I was trying to get this one out of the shell and I did split it here. Um, as it was swollen, I thought I'd leave it a few days with the others and see if it manages to damage some of that shell itself. Because in the world, they wouldn't have us opening their shells for them. They'd do it themselves. So I've just left that last one because um, I have broken the back of it a little bit. But I might have not broken... An essential part so we'll just see but still um what is there one two three nine out of ten that's pretty good going it's the day after i last videoed and look at these guys they're amazing they're moving so fast the roots on them are just absolutely amazing the only one that's not doing anything is this one and this was not the one that got damaged oh he has got a tiny root coming out this is the one that um, I thought I broke the back of, and you can see he's coming on quite well. So today I'm going to start potting up the ones with the bigger roots. We're going to put them in their own pot because these guys are big and they come up big, so we don't want to overcrowd them and get their roots tangled. Um, so they'll each be going in their own pot, good water, and hopefully we'll have some leaves in a few days. I'm actually thinking all ten might germinate at this stage, seeing that little root this morning. But literally yesterday I was checking them every few hours and every few hours they had more growth. They're absolutely amazing fast moving seeds. And they remind me of little caterpillars actually. I've had the seedlings, sorry my throat, um, I've had the seedlings in a Ziploc bag and within another day of doing that video that I've just done, um, you can see the leaf first leaf's out and the others aren't far behind, they're unravelling their leaves too. These guys are growing at speed. So here's what we have um, after our 10 germinating seeds. We have one that's died here and we have a few little ones that are doing something but they're a little bit slower than the others. I think because it's got a little bit colder. And then we have three nearly four big ones on quite a few, I mean this one's almost perfect, you can see the middle leaves there, but on quite a few there's quite a bit of damage to the leaves and I've got a feeling this is from that hard germination process with the boiling water and the peeling of the skin. It's so easy to damage those little leaves even a little bit and if you look over here, this one's still got the skin on, this is the one that I broke the back of and it's germinating fine but I wasn't able to get that pod off without doing it more damage. So you can see this is probably damaging the leaves a little bit um, because they're still stuck on. But what they will come off and those first leaves job is to protect the true leaves that are coming through in the middle which are these ones here. So any damage to these ones is not actually that big a deal. It just looks a bit naff. <laughs> and on this one he's got quite a bit. But that will come off and inside is the new perfect leaves you can see coming up here. So all in all, um, most of them do look like they're going to germinate. I think that's a wisteria seed that I've popped in there somewhere. <laughs> but we've got nine coming on there. So that's really amazing considering the process they had to go through. And they're growing really quick. Um, if you want to have a go at these yourself, we will have more seeds on our website and on our eBay page. Um, you cannot leave them outside over winter if you're in the UK because they don't tolerate the cold well. But what you can do is put them in a pot and bring them inside, especially if you want to bonsai them because they are bonsai quite a lot. But I would say they're not a bonsai for beginners because they grow so quick, you've really got to be on top of that pruning. It's like growing an ash. If you leave it too long without pruning it, when it's in those early stages of growing, you're going to get some ugly branches there. So... I would say if you're experienced and haven't done them, have a go with some bonsai for them. Fantastic plants. Really enjoyable process.